Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, aka Lilyworks, and we have a what sold for what sold over the weekend video for you guys today. Um, sales have been kind of slow, to be honest, but that's okay because there's sometimes sales are on fire and sometimes they're slow. So we're getting into summer. Sales are um, slowing down, that's to be expected, but we have jewelry sales going out, we have shoes, and we have some belts going out. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I have a bundle here including a belt. Here are the jewelry sales. Um, let me think. Which one is my favorite? Hmm. I think that there was some really good deals going. Oh, that one. That one's my favorite. Um, there were some really good deals going out this weekend. So, yes. So this was actually a Mercari bundle, you guys. This I picked up at the Goodwill bins. It's just from Target, but I was like. I loved the pattern. It's woven and then it has like pink tassels. Let me see if I can show you. There's these pink tassels on it. So it's like super hippie boho, like summer vacation awesomeness. And then this honestly is my favorite. I think this is 1970s and it's a long tassel. I have one similar that I kept for myself, but I really love the style and design on it. It's kind of like Turkish, Middle Eastern, 70s, hippies, boho, modernist. Um, but I really, really like this. So let's talk about Mercari bundle. Yes, Mercari, you can bundle on Mercari. And let me just tell you that one of my items had shipping on it and one of them did not. So I think it was this one had free shipping and this one did not. Or it could have been reversed. But what ended up happening is Mercari charged the buyer the, the shipping cost of the highest weight item, which I think on this one was two pounds. So they charged, I think, two pounds for this bundle, which will cover it. And um, so I didn't have to buy, a sh I personally didn't have to buy a shipping label. I could just print it off right from Mercari. If it ends up being more than two pounds, then Mercari pays for the the extra as far as I know. So anyways, this um this bundle, they sent me an offer of $45, which I think was great um for this these two items. I just love it so much. And my cost of goods was around $1.77, so I paid around a dollar for this at the Goodwill bins and then 77 cents at the antique store. Love. <clears throat> okay, next we have this faux pearl and a little tiny pendant. So these are actually pendants with a hinge that are actually made for pearl or stone necklaces and you can take them off. So it's a removable rhinestone and faux pearl pendant. So it's very, very sweet, not marked, but this one sold for $9 and I got this one in a shop good a lot for less than a dollar. This is a, another Napier, just a, a I guess a thicker gold chain necklace, simple gold chain necklace. This one sold for $19 on eBay and I got this one in a sh in the high bid lot. So that big giant high bid lot that I paid I think 400 or 450 for my average cost of goods per piece that I'm that was in my yes bin was $1.50. This one has been sitting for a long time. I I'm feeling that now that summer's out, maybe people were looking for red, white, and blue type of jewelry. This one was just enamel costume jewelry. It was one of those days where I'm like, oh, I'll list it, right? We all have those days where we're just like, okay, I'll, I'm just feeling like I'm in a listing mood. So this one got listed and it sold for $7.99 um, on eBay. And this one came in a shop with a lot for less than a dollar. Okay, this one was a really great deal for the buyer. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Okay, this is some Silpata sterling silver and amber beautiful earrings. 
and they paid $24, so I did take a best offer. I think I was just in a really good mood. Honestly, these are gorgeous. So like amber and sterling silver and silpata. But I did pay about $10 per piece in that sterling lot. You guys might know, like have seen every what sold video has one of these pieces. I'm still waiting to sell that big green Mojave uh, turquoise necklace. That one is the big enchilada of the sterling silver lot. But um, I'm still making money on this lot so far, so my average cost of goods was 10 per piece, and this one sold for 24 This little tiny articulated tail green rhinestone pin brooch, not signed, a little cat, um, this one sold for $9.99, and again, I got this one in that high bid auction as well. This one, I also feel like the buyer got a really great deal on. This one is fine English Fine Bone China, and it is still in the box. And it is just lovely, hand-painted, handmade. I'm going to have to probably put tissue paper inside the box so it's not rattling around. But I did take a best offer of $12. In my opinion, it's worth more like $20, but... I was, oh, this was a repeat buyer. That's why I was like, okay, I will accept the offer because yes. So that was nice that um, I got a repeat buyer. And yeah, I'm willing to take offers like that. So, the, and this one came in a shop, go to a lot for around a dollar. Now this Chico's necklace, not sure what happened, but it's like a hammered um, multi-strand necklace. So I think that... There was a buyer that that offered me 12 maybe, and then I countered back, I think, at 16. Then all of a sudden, within an hour or two, someone, same buyer, not even sure, purchased it outright for the asking price of $17.99. This wasn't Poshmark. This was eBay. Poshmark notifies you if someone puts an offer on something that you're watching, but I don't think eBay does that, so... I'm happy with that. This one sold for $17.99 and I got it in a shop go to a lot for less than a dollar. Let's talk about this one later or at the end. And these are just some Cloisonne door knocker, beautiful earrings. Yes. And so these have that top where you can exchange out like abalone um, or mother of pearl. There's different kind of earrings that you can exchange that do this door knocker style. This sold on Etsy for $18 and I paid shipping, making my earnings $14.19 and this one came in a shop good a lot. Um, I did not get any Poshmark sales this weekend, you guys. Poshmark has been not connected to my Ven Vendu, my cross-listing app, and it also hasn't been linked up to my Posher VA, which is what shares and sends out offers and all the things. It was like all funky. And so it finally turned back on tonight. Like I don't, it just said it wasn't logging in. So got that fixed. <clears throat> Anyways, no Poshmark sales. So that might also be why my sales are down because Poshmark actually does bring in some profit for me. All right. This one you guys might recognize came in that, um, I'm hoping I have <laughs> both parts up by now, both parts of the, um, neighbors jewelry, buyout. I That is a two-part video series. And my cost of goods per piece was around $1.50 again. This one is a green, um, what is it? Millefiori. <laughs> and possibly Mur Murano. So Millefiori, from what I understand, can be Murano, meaning from the city of Murano? right? Um, where they have a lot of fine artisan glassmakers and they make Murano glass. So Millie Fiore can be Murano. Some people are able to identify it based on how old it is, the clasp, the craftsmanship. Um, but not all, not all Millie Fiore is Murano glass. It could be made elsewhere. So that was something that I learned. I'm going to pass it on to you guys. So a buyer reached out or a viewer reached out 
um, from one of my videos saw this and wanted to have it. So we made a deal. This is another really, really great deal because I sold this beautiful piece for $12. Um, lovely. And this green color I feel is more rare. I couldn't find anything like this. So, um, I probably would have priced it at least $20 on eBay, but, um, she was a viewer. So I was like, how, how about 12? And then I have $5 first class shipping. We do it through PayPal. So I did, um, in my description on my video, I am putting a new email because a lot of people are having a hard time contacting me through Instagram. Instagram is the best way because it pops up right away on my phone. I did add an email though as like my second best option if you want to contact me via email of anything that you see in my videos that you might want, you know, send me an offer or, you know, have you listed this yet, Rachel? Um I really would like to buy X, Y, and Z, and then we can make a deal and you just send me your PayPal address and we can invoice. So yeah, I can just print off a label directly from PayPal. It's very safe and secure. And yeah, so that is an option. All right, so sold for 12 and paid around $1.50. So I will put my earnings for jewelry up on the screen. Okay, so next we have shoes. Let's just talk about these. These are Clark's Wave Walk. These used to do super well for me. Anything that said Clark's Wave Walk, Wave Walk, right? Wave. Um, because these are really great, comfortable Clark's like diffusion line or um, I guess line. And you can put like walking shoes in the title and they used to sell really quickly for me. These have like sat around forever. <laughs> and finally, I took a best offer of $12 and there is a tiny ding right there. Do you see that? So I'm, I don't know if that's what deterred all <laughs> the buyers, but honestly, that's very minor, especially for walking shoes. So finally those sold for 12 and I got them at the Goodwill bins for around two. These um, were a return and then resold. So this, you guys might recognize, this, these, this brand is Gabor, which is a size 7, but I believe these are a size 9 or a 9.5 in U.S. size. So I believe this is a European size. Um, and you can just tell because you can just tell by holding the shoe that it's not a size seven. It's bigger than that. So the original buyer said, I usually am a, this size in this brand, but they didn't fit. So returned. And then it's so easy. You just relist. Not a big deal. And I have it where buyer pays return shipping unless it's an item not as described. So if it, a shoe doesn't fit your buyer just have them return it. I mean, they pay for return shipping and then you just relist it and like, really, it's not, it's not a big deal at all. So, um, someone had asked me, what was it on my last YouTube video? Because they were hesitant of, you know, selling shoes because they were afraid of re um, returns due to fit. And yes, it does happen. Absolutely. But that's why, that's one of the main reasons why I have the buyer paying for return shipping. I think once, if I start phasing out shoes and doing like collectibles and jewelry, or if I have my store that's not like size and clothing <laughs> based, I think I could just do free shipping on everything because you don't get a lot of returns on things like collectibles and jewelry and things like that. So there's that. We have these. I've been sitting on these forever. So Stuart Weitzman. And these are actually not like vintage looking. Stuart Weitzman vintage can sit forever. But these are actually pretty cute. They're snakeskin print um, in really great shape. Leather sole. These sold for $22.50. And I got, got these at the Goodwill bins. And then these... Um, <laughs> I got for $12.99 at Goodwill, and these are Cole Haan, and a lot of Cole Haan 
you know, sells very, very inexpensively on eBay. But I was like, no, these are really great shape. And they're the Oxford um, wingtip, the perforation, just so many wonderful things happening here. And someone on Poshmark, not sure if it's the same buyer, but on Poshmark kept offering me between $30 and $35 back and forth. And I wasn't going lower than $45. Well, I finally got an accepted offer for $50 on eBay, and again, I paid $12.99. Lastly, we have some belts, just two, and again, I haven't been listing belts and shoes in such a long time. I just don't have time, but we'll get to that at the end. Okay, White House Black Market. This is new with tags, really cute studded waist belt, very like... Thin, really cute to wear like with a dress. Sold for $24.99 full price and I paid $2.99 at Goodwill. And then we have a Land's End belt. Lovely, lovely quality. Lo I think Eddie Bauer, Land's End, um, I think those are like more mature brands, but they do make some really great, great belts. So I do like picking those up. Um, sold for $14 and I got that at Goodwill for $2.99. Okay, so we are on the floor, and I wanted to wrap up this video just chit-chatting with you guys. I've come to know a lot of you guys, definitely through my Facebook group page and what you guys look like, and just, I don't know, that kind of opened up the door to more communication, which is awesome. Um, I'm going to share with you guys that I feel like I am reselling, like, I am like reselling with no time. That's how I feel. So if I, if I can do it, you can do it. Hopefully this is motivating, right? <laughs> um, but basically how my schedule looks is my husband for several weeks now, um, ha is gone at least 12 to 13 hours for work at least. Because he is one of the leaders of his job. It's in like the teaching field where he, you know, heads up getting teachers for summer school and talks to colleges, talks to principals, all the, all kinds of stuff. So if you know the education world is very demanding and it you don't you don't get back up, you don't get to take off without like you just don't get that. And so I'm, you know, supporting him with that, you know, with it being really demanding and with that, I, you know, do the homeschooling and all the house and all the cleaning and all the cooking and all, all the everything and all the doctor's appointments and everything like that. Um, so basically I feel like my time for actual like reselling and getting things out there is like a sliver, <laughs> a sliver, especially having like a one, three and five year old. I can't just be like, okay, go play. I'm going to go work for two hours. That doesn't happen. That does not happen. <laughs> so um, I guess if you guys want to learn how to <laughs> resell by having no time, <laughs> this is how we do it. Anyways, this is why jewelry has become like definite focal point for my business right now because I am able to list those things really quickly. I have a light box in my room. And so when I'm getting my kids ready, I can take some pictures in the morning and then we do homeschooling or something like that. Um, same thing with belts. You can, you can list those really easily. Shoes, same. Um, but honestly, jewelry is the fastest, but yeah, if you guys can throw some like motivation my way as well, it, it's like, it's like one of those things where in life you have your highs and your lows and your struggles. And I've gotten to like the age and the point where it's like, I know we're at a point in our family life where it feels like it's hard. But I was, my pastor or one of the preachers on Sunday was giving us, um, one of the preachers on Sunday was talking to us about being content where you are at. And that's something my husband and I talk about regularly is being content. And honestly, reselling definitely helps in that way so much. Like I'm flexible. I'm so thankful to be flexible with my own time and to 
um, divvy it up where I find to be most important. And honestly, right now it's raising like the kids in a really healthy and wholesome and fulfilling way. And also like I, as like a previous teacher, really enjoy teaching you guys um, what I know, which might not be a lot compared to other people, but it really fills my cup <laughs> to know that you guys are learning from me. So anyways, that was a lot to say that if I can do it, you can do it, <laughs> right? So <clears throat> with that in mind, give yourself a goal. Um, yeah, give yourself a goal of how many things you want to list per day. It could be, well, I guess it could be item goal or it could be a money value goal. $100 a day, 10 items a day, whatever. My goal always in my head is 10 items a day. I try doing the, the money value. I don't know. My brain doesn't work like that. So mine is always 10 items a day. And if I'm leaving, I make sure to take enough pictures the day before so that I can, if I'm on the road or I'm leaving for a day trip, hiking trip with my family, I'm able to do that on my downtime. So yeah, that is definitely like, if you don't have a lot of time, that is just a really good uh, motivator thing is to take your pictures beforehand so that when you have little spurts of time here and there, you know, um, you can list. So anyways, those are just some things I wanted to share. Um, and yeah, so if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and bell notification. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you guys are doing and I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you're out there thrifting so you can live generously. Bye guys.